you're thinking about a 1095, you want to escape civilization and just be on the boat for as many days as possible, your number one question is, how much storage is there on a 1095? My name is Damien, welcome back to the rudder and welcome back to Northside Marine who are letting us have a look around this gorgeous Mary Fisher 1095. I'm going to take you through all the storage options on this boat. I'm pretty much probably going to miss one. There are so many storage spaces on this vessel. If I miss one, drop them in the comments down below. Let's start out in the cockpit and these are storage spaces that probably can take a little bit of rain. So this is your wet weather storage. Out onto the swim platform some wet storage maybe for your fenders some ropes i do love we've got this swing gate to get through also one thing of note is the fuel has been moved from on the 895 it's on the deck there it's out the back here for much easier filling underneath all of these cushions is massive amounts of storage. Look at that. You could fit fishing rods, anything that could possibly get it wet, you could go in there. You could even fit some skis in there if you're looking for it. Ropes and other gear. Let's get this table out of the way and have a real look at the storage. Under this cushion, there's some open storage. So you've got access if you just want to quickly get something. Looks like a great place for a tackle box to me. Or if you really need access, you can get in under there. You could put in a generator, a portable generator or an esky. And another small storage bin on top of your lazarette locker. As you can see in the cockpit, there is storage all the way around in the modular seating. Let's go down into the lazarette. All under here is storage. Because you've got outboards that are out the back, you don't have an engine. As with nearly every rudder video, it's almost mandatory that I end up in the lazarette. Let's go down and have a look. This is an optional extra to have a ladder. I would strongly suggest if you're getting a 1095 to grab one. Down here in the lazarette, you could hide some small children if you wanted to. There is plenty of room. You've got two storage lockers here. One will have all your batteries. One thing to note down here in the lazarette is this is a low point in the boat. So water can get in here and your bilge pumps are in these lockers. Let's get me out of the lazarette and into the cabin. Welcome to the voluminous cabin. Look how big this thing is. There is some optional extras that have been put into this 1095 and these are the overhead lockers. So you've got overhead lockers for food storage. So if you're wanting to disappear for a few days, you'll be needing to load up and over the dining, you've got even more storage. The galley has plenty, so much storage, it's almost ridiculous. Firstly, we have our electrics. It's so easy access to isolate the batteries. And underneath that, big storage compartment. This one's got the bin. And you've got multiple storage units. You could put a microwave in here. It's massive. It's as long as my arm, about 60 centimeters or so. fridge and essential for a getaway and this boat has been equipped with twin fridges and we'll have a look at that in a second and yet more storage under the helm seat cutlery drawer and again your pantry in the dining space you've got plenty of easily accessible storage and there's more to come underneath thin storage you can reach down and get a few canned goods in there and if you have any flat saucepans no what would you put in there I don't know noodles there is some extra storage probably not going to be getting in and out of there very often but certainly useful let's go down to the cabins and check out where you can store all your gear moving into the mid cab this is probably the cab you'll use with your guests or for your children there's a little storage compartment for some clothes. I love a little seat here. 
but look even more storage maybe all your phone cables and other bits and doodads can go in there but nice little seat and move ow, oh moving inside some more storage for your clothes and gear and and along this side probably not storage but a place you can put your phone while you sleep or some books lovely spot down here in the mid cab let's go into the port side cabin this can be made as a purely storage space or you can set it up as an extra berth the first thing is you've got another fridge so the escaping civilization idea you're really well equipped to keep all your food nice and cold big storage locker for some clothes and as I mentioned you can use this as pure storage for all your cushions and moving all the way to the back this is not a storage space it's where all your electricals are so you've got your electrical runs your water system coming through here and that's the hot water system so this would not be a storage space don't put anything in here because you'll short out your electrics welcome to the master suite where once again storage is the name of the game this cabin actually has had some extra storage put in these head cabinets are an additional option but they do provide an excellent space for storage and this is one of brooks secret little tricks is that the starboard side is much deeper than the port side so uh, she always nicks the starboard side to get that deeper cabinet more locker for perhaps some clothes and you've got a little space up on top just to put your gear along the gunnels places to put extra inf extra stuff overhead lockers on the port side a little bit shallower these are the ones i get and there is one last big storage space you can access it from the front or with some hydraulic lifters easy lift and a very big storage space to store all those towels or blankets and other essential items let's head up above me to the bow and i'll show you a secret compartment that's been put into the 1095 welcome to the bow of the 1095 obviously the main storage locker is for your anchor chain down in here so all your anchor chain goes in there and there's two drain holes to let out all the water and there's one last secret little bit of storage under this cushion lift these up we've got a fantastic space to put all the fenders that always sort of end up scattered around the boat you've got a beautiful spot to put them in there I hope you enjoyed this short storage tour of the Mary Fisher 1095. Probably is a spot I missed. Drop it in the comments down below. Thanks once again to Northside Marine for letting us uh, aboard this boat and we'll see you next time on the rudder.